Hello integration experts. Welcome to Integration Corner. I hope you are enjoying the videos here. Today, let's see how to install WSO2's Enterprise Integrator in a Windows machine. Let me walk you through the prerequisites. From a system requirements point of view, we would need 2 GB of memory and 1 GB heap size and we would need 1 GB of disk space. So from here, you can see that um, EI has a very uh, less footprint and you can install this for a POC or for a development purpose on your laptop. From an environment requirement perspective, you would need Oracle JDK 1.8 or higher installed. So I'm going to access uh, the WSO2's website where we have the links to download the product. So this is where uh, EI, different versions of EI is available for download. So as you can see, the latest enterprise integrator version is 7 dot uh, x series but here i'm going to show you uh, the installation of version 6 i'm going to click on the download button so we have plenty of options available here for the installation i'm going to um, i'm going to get the 6.6.0 series and uh, my um, operating system is windows so i'm going to download the windows installer I have to enter my email ID to initiate the uh, download. I've just entered my email. I have to accept the WSO2 software license terms and then we are good to go. Click on Windows installer to start download. Yeah, it will take a while uh, for the installation to complete. Uh, so it's around 650 MB. So I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to come back once the download is completed. As you can see, the download is completed. I have the Windows installer uh, in my machine. Uh, start the installation by double clicking it. It's a very simple and straightforward uh, steps, just like any other software installation on a Windows machine. Click on next. Click uh, the path where you need the installation um, to be. So I'm going to go with the, the default path. So the installation is going on. I'm going to pause as this may take a while. I'll come back once the installation is completed. As you can see, the, uh, the installer has finished the installation part. Just click on finish. Now one important step remaining is the configuration of environment variables. So for that, uh, to configure Java Home, you need to reach to the environment variables. So click on environment variables, and then you can see a Java Home where you need uh, where uh, you need to set the path to the JDK installation. So in my case, it is already set. So in case uh, if in your machine, if it's not set, click on new, write Java, Java home, and then give the path to your JDK home directory. So I'm just canceling it. Now I'm moving to the installed uh, directory. So in my case, it was installed in program files. WSO2 Enterprise Integrator. I have multiple versions running. I have a 6.4 as uh, running as well. Now the uh, the version that I've installed is 6.6. You have to go to the bin directory, copy this path, and then open a command prompt. Move to that path. Now start Enterprise Integrator by running integrator.bat. You can just drag it here. Yeah. This will start your uh, WSO2 EI. It'll take a few seconds uh, for the component to come up. I'm just ex expanding this window for a better viewing. Once you see a message like this, it indicates that your WSO2 Enterprise Integrator is up and running, and uh, this is a URL to the management console. So copy this URL, and then switch to and open this in a browser. Proceed. If you get this window, this means your installation was successful. Log in using the default uh, username and password 
credentials uh, provided with the product it is admin and uh, admin that's it now this indicates that you have successfully installed WSO2's enterprise integrator in your machine in the coming videos I'll explain how to install WSO2's uh, tooling and th which is basically uh, an IDE where developer uh, will create integration solutions thank you for watching if you have any queries please reach out to me on my email or you can use the comment section below thank you